today we will learn how to convert data in a single column or row to a tabular format filling data row wise each row containing a specified number of cells using wrap rows function we will also learn how to convert the same data to a tabular format filling data column wise each column containing a specified number of cells using wrap columns function i am going to talk about two very useful excel functions wrap rows and wrap calls so my objective here is to convert the list of country names in a column to a tabular form each row consisting of six cells so after the sixth country name the seventh country name will be printed in the next row and after 12th country name the 13th country name will be printed in the next row and so on so i'll remove this numeric data i will start typing the formula using wrap rows for this we are going to use wrap rows function equal to wrap rows the first parameter is the range of data so i am going to select this column data and i am typing comma wrap count wrap count is the number of cells you want in each row so here i want six cells in each row so i'm going to type six closing the bracket pressing enter so it converted this single column data into multiple rows and columns with each row containing six country names but here you notice it printed error as there is no data available to be printed here so to avoid this i will modify the formula a little bit so after the wrap count i'll put a comma and pad with so i have i can pad this empty cell showing error with a hyphen if i want so i will update that hyphen in double quotes and then press enter so instead of error it printed hyphen you can print blank space also so it printed hyphen so this data india germany united kingdom started printing from here row wise india germany united kingdom like this after united states after the sixth cell it wrapped to the next row and after again sixth cell it wrapped to the next row and so on same way i'm going to delete this i can rewrite this formula by reading it from a row of data instead of row contained in a column so again i will type wrap rows instead of this selecting this i will select the data the same data contained in this row and i'm typing comma i want six cells in each row and i am going to give pad it with space if there is no data closing we got the same results from a row of data here it was from a column of data so now if i try to update data here k okay, it's showing an error that it spill because there is a formula this is an array formula so you cannot change individual cells because of this formula so if you click on any of these cells you can see the formula applied here so there is a shortcut to remove the formula and paste values so i'll select this range i will hover the mouse to the right border of the selected range then pressing down the right mouse i am moving to column j and then keeping the right mouse pressed down i am coming back to column i moving back to the previous position and then releasing the mouse so when i release the mouse it displays a pop up menu from which i will use copy here as values only i am click this now all the formulae from these cells went away so now i can 
type whatever I want. Botswana. See, it accepts the values. So that is about wrap rows. Now I will show you wrap columns. So that is another built in function. So where the same data I will spread across this array or table. But instead of printing data in rows, I will print data in columns. So here it printed first data here and in the same second cell in the same row up to six rows and then wrap the row. Here instead it will print one, two, three. I am going to give the parameter as three because I want three cells in each column. So first data will be India will be printed here, Germany will be printed here, United Kingdom will be printed here, but Japan will be printed in the next column. It will wrap the column and goes to the next one. So I'll show you how. So first I will remove these numbers. I'll type the formula here. Again, wrap instead of wrap rows, I will use wrap calls. I will select the same data. Use comma. And here I want three cells in each column. So I will update three and I will pad it with a hyphen. So see what happens. See. So it printed India, Germany, United Kingdom in the first column and Japan it uh, printed in the next column and Japan also United States then Nepal. It printed like this. Here it printed horizontally and after the specified number of cells it wrapped to the next row. Here also the same thing happens. It printed the values in cells in a column and after the specified number three cells it wrapped to the next column and then started printing it in that column and then after it printed three cells then it wrapped to the next co uh, next column and like like that here also i can use this function with a different source of data in a row so again wrap calls instead of this data i will select this data comma 3 comma hyphen again we got the same results so instead of this data i selected this data in a row now i will show you a real life use of wrap rows and wrap calls function suppose we get the data people data in this format like first name, last name, gender, age, profession, some comments and then this another person's details. Like this we get data. How to convert this data into a tabular form like this. So I will show you that. So here I will use wrap rows. I will select this data. comma I will use six cells in each row then close see what happens so all this data got converted to a tabular form so like with headers first name for headers I added first name last name sex age profession comments same way using wrap calls I can con convert this data into this table also where each employee's details will be printed in different columns. That also I will show. We'll use wrap calls. Select the same data. Comma. If I want. Six cells in each column. See what happens. So it printed each employee details in separate columns. So this is a real life example. 
for these two built-in functions. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you find the information I shared useful, please like and share the video with your friends. If you did not like the video, please let me know the reasons through comments. Also, please feel free to give improvement suggestions in the comment section. That will help me create better videos in future. Thank you once again.